Hi, I'm Ignacio Fernandez Fiorente. Welcome to Polo In. We have seen in preceding videos that in most of the cases it is better to hit the ball forward instead of taking it forward with small touches. We're gonna see in this video how, as soon as your technical capabilities increase, you can make a different use of the ball. When you have more time to play the ball, you can then make a better decision on what you're gonna do with it. To take the ball forward in a more productive way, you need to construct the play you have to play both with your teammates in front of you and behind you. Let us see now in these examples how to play with your teammates that are in front of you. Here for example the red player takes the ball forward. He takes the ball forward with small auto passes until he sees the opportunity to pass the ball to a teammate who is in front of him. There is control of the ball when the team possessing the ball can construct a piece of play. This means that the players of the team are passing the ball to each other. The black and violet player here makes a long pass forward, hoping that his teammate is going to score a goal. We're going to talk about the control transfer of the ball. The white number four here surprises everyone with an under the neck pass to his teammate number one. Repeated ball control makes the game slower. The white player here turns around, makes a pause and waits for his teammate. He's almost hooked, but in the end, he makes a beautiful pass. The white player avoids the mark and makes a beautiful pass. In this other example, let's see two passes from the pink players. In this case, with a beautiful movement of the receiving player, which makes it much easier for the passing player. The blue player is not in a hurry in passing the ball. He turns around and then makes a beautiful pass to his teammates. In many cases, the time that you take thinking what to do with the ball can be very dangerous because your opponents can take the ball away from you. So one has to be very careful on who is around you. The black player here, with a back pass, launches his teammate towards goal. The blue player here pauses the game, waits for his teammate and then makes a beautiful pass. The blue player here has no passing options. He takes the ball forward with auto passes. until he sees the opportunity to make a pass. The blue player turns around, waits for a teammate and then passes the ball. In this example, the grey player doesn't see a passing opportunity with an under the neck shot, so he makes a very intelligent move. He makes a short pass with a backhand. Excellent move. It is also important for the receiving player to know what his teammate can do, not to ask for an impossible pass. Here, for example, the grey player is calling for cola, but his teammate cannot pass the ball that way because the red player is in the way and in the end he takes the ball away from him. The black player is asking for the pass on the left. The light blue player knows that and he puts the horse in between. Be careful with the rebounds. If you're receiving a pass, you need to check your position related to the position of the ball handler and to where the opponent players are. The green circle indicates the ideal position where the red player number two should have been to get the pass. The red player number two is too much forward. He should have gone more towards the ball handler before the pass and then turn around. The ball doesn't get to him. Here again, the red player turns around and waits 
No, go to get the pass as close as possible to the ball handler. Remember that when you turn around, the priority is to get as soon as possible on the line of the ball. That's why the ball needs to be in front of you. So go and get the backhand. Here again, the ball doesn't get to him. To hit the ball under the neck with a jumping ball is very difficult, especially if your horse is going at a high speed. I recommend that you slow down before hitting the ball under the neck. Don't try to hit the ball too hard and your teammate wanting the pass should come closer to the ball handler. If you want to hit the ball too hard, you're gonna miss. If you ask your teammate for an impossible pass, you are also responsible that he misses the ball. Stop asking impossible passes. The white player is asking for a backhander in the middle while his teammate is marked by several opponents. This is a very bad call. Help your teammate and don't ask him for impossible possible shots. Here everybody is asking Cola, Cola, look at where all the opponents are. The great player ends up playing an open back, which is a much better shot. I hope you enjoy Poloin videos. Do not forget to click like. We are here to help and argument the game, to help more people to understand and play Polo. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Polo In is often updated. There are many new videos. You shouldn't miss any of them. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.